Got it. All right, what we have here is one of two projects. Um, it's taking it in a totally different direction from the triple hat projects that I work with, which are triple hat for VPIT plus sharp strain albino and anatheristic, uh, along with the hypo and the motley genes. That, that's uh, all I have at this moment. Down the road, we will get a lot of other genes involved in that project, uh, you know, duplicating genes, codoms, and dominant genes. So what we have here is the totally different effect. No anatheristics involved in this particular project. Uh, the big girl is a orange cell hypo and a pastel dream. Uh, the little one is the male. He is an orange cell hypo, a pastel dream, and a motley. And both these animals are double hat for both sharp strain albino and VPIT+. Plus. So, whereas my triple head project is to rip the reds out, even though, <laughs> even though, by ripping the reds out uh, in the hypo, I'm sorry, in the uh, in the VPIT plus sharp strain, and we added the uh, we had the motley as well as the anatheristic on there. Yeah, ripping the reds out didn't didn't remove the reds. It made the damn thing basically purple and pink. Uh, so what this whole project is here is just to slam as much color in with the, the combination of both the Pass, the Dream, and the Hypo into this project. And I, I, I just think things are going to be amazing once we get these things up and running. Get them on the ground. It takes a while. Even just to make it to VPIT plus sharp train is a 1 in 16. Trying to get the Hypo on it becomes a 1 in 32. Getting the Pass, the Dream on that as well becomes a 1 in 64 and if we want the motley on there then it, that becomes a 1 in 128 so got a lot of odds could take years to hit on the big dog but that's that's what you do uh, every you know when when you're a true designer and you know so many of these things are so long term and when they finally come out you know they're and they're fantastic hey there's a high price to them because, you know, you can't get them from anywhere else. So, this is basically our VPI T plus sharp strain Sundry Motley project. Uh, what we have here is this other breeding for the, basically the VPI sharp strain Sundry Motley project. Um, the big one in here is the sister to the uh, animals you just saw in the first portion of this video. Uh, she herself is also an orange tail hypo pass of green motley. Double hat for both VPI, T plus, and sharp strain albino. And the little guy in there is actually a visual VPI, T plus, sharp strain albino designer. And I don't know if you can see his eyes or not, but they're white. At least they have been at times. Yeah, so the, the, uh, they start off as pink and morph into this basically a white eye as they get older. So we'll see if he uh, is willing to do anything for us this year. That's why we're doing two projects because you can't rely on just one. Just because you put your bows together doesn't mean they're going to breed people. I, I deal with first timers all the time and you know, it takes years. This This is not ball python breeding where one male can knock up uh, half a dozen to a dozen females in a single season. Th these, this is boa breeding. This is more advanced. And in that advancement I also, you know, keep everything 100% pure Columbia. So second breeding or pairing to try and make some form of a VPIT plus sharp strain sun green motley. 